So you're ready to start choosing some plants for your patio pot or hanging basket. Thing is, there's a huge range. There's endless amount of plants that you could buy. So it's all a bit daunting. Thing is, plants are very forgiving. So if you put them in your basket and it's slightly the wrong plant, they will mingle together and still do a good job. But perhaps the best thing to think about is the height or the structure that you're looking for. And I think this is determined by the pot. So for instance, we've got a trough here. And what you would normally do is go for a low level planting. So your trough is actually about that deep. So our plants want to end up about here. So this is about the right level for the trough. If you were doing, say, a vase this size. So again, our vase is about that high. So really, we want our plants to be this high. But you can even go half again, so your plants could be this high. And it just balances out the shape of the pot. Perhaps you're going for a more rounded effect. And you have a plant of this shape. So the plant is about this high. Again, we want to end up about here. So this geranium is about roughly the right height just to fill this pot. And it gives a nice rounded shape. All sounds a bit complicated. Well, we can help. So you've chosen your planter or hanging basket and you know how high you want it to be. So now you need to choose your plants. And there are different types of plants. But I think the best way to think about it is as a clock face. So this is the between 10 and 2. This is the upright part of the clock face. So this is an upright plant. In the middle of the clock face, we have what we'd call, say, a bushy plant. So this geranium would be the one that maybe filled this in. And then between four o'clock and eight o'clock, the bottom of the clock face, you would have a trailing plant. So there's lobelia. So now you see you've got a kind of structure coming down. And the Americans came up with an easy way of describing this. They called this the thriller, the filler, and the spiller. Quite a simple way of describing it. So we can describe some plants as thrillers, upright habit. The idea of a thriller is to create a reaction, catch your eye, grab your attention. I think they can be in two kind of groups. One's a supermodel group where it's all about the structure and they're thin and elegant and that would maybe be a canna, a cordyline possibly. Or it could be a fuchsia column, tall, thin, and elegant. The other group I would class as superstars. They're really just going to wow you with color. And it's not about the structure, it's just pure color. So coleus is a good example of that. Coleus kong, different colors of leaves. It could just be a really stunning flower color, like this begonia. This is a begonia chameleon, or sold as sometimes as red and yellow. But a geranium, that could be classed as a thriller. Tall, full of color. So we can describe some plants as fillers. You should think of them as a supporting act for the thriller. They should complement it, maybe by flower color or shape or form. And the idea of the filler is it helps build up the color in your hanging basket. So you get more and more layers of color. So these are some of the plants that we would consider as fillers. There's obviously geraniums. They could be a thriller, but they could be the filler as well. And dahlias. These are small, compact dahlias. Mini fuchsias. Fuchsias are very good for filling out hanging baskets, especially shady ones. It could just be bedding plants. Petunias, for instance, or busy lizzies, or begonia semps. Small leaf begonias. You could even use our begonia chameleon as a filler if you've got a taller thriller. Coleus, if you've got a big tall thriller, coleus could be the filler. We also think uh, verbena is quite good. It's semi trailing, so it'll grow up and trail a little bit as well. And Biden's. If you always think of Bidens as a massive trailing plant, the modern Bidens is quite compact and really colourful. So this Bidens would be classed as a filler because it's not really a trailer and it's nice and bushy. So think of fillers as the ones that fill in the middle of your basket. 
Some plants are classed as spillers, and I think they add movement to your planter or hanging basket. You get like a waterfall of colour that spills over the edge and cascades downwards. So I don't think any basket or planter is complete without a few spillers in it. There are plenty to choose from. So there's Lobelia. This one's done from cuttings, but the seed raised ones are perfectly good. These used to be called Million Bells or Calibri Core. And in the old days, they were quite brittle and would fall to bits. But now they've bred them, so they're much more flexible and longer lasting. And you can even get doubles in them. We quite like Mabinas. Although we put them in the fillers, they actually do quite well on the side of a hanging basket trailing over. And then there is a huge range of petunias that you could have. So you've got sky blue, apple blossom, a whole range of colours. I think you can see from the habit of this one, it just wants to trail. So when you pick up your uh, petunia plants, you can have a look. Some of them definitely just want to trail. Some will go up and then trail. But you can see from the habit of this one that it would make a really good trailer. And then you don't have to put flower in, you could put foliage. We're quite like Dichondra, which trails down, probably even to about three foot long. And there's Machia, gold, actually an alpine, but makes a really good hanging basket. If you're old enough, you remember everybody used to put Napita in their hanging baskets and had it trailing down. So I don't think any hanging basket or planter should really be complete without putting some spillers in it.